Mr. Thank you very much. Uh, let me begin with a um, uh, follow up on the hearing we had last week with uh, Attorney General Barr. Uh, a few weeks ago in that uh, budget hearing, uh, he indicated that he believes spying on the Trump campaign did occur in the 2016 election. And the question was whether that spying was legal. Um, the Attorney General stated he intended to look into the legality of these actions, and uh, I believe that's uh, of value. Have you initiated any internal reviews of the FBI's action during the 2016 election? Uh, well, Mr. Chairman, there are a couple of things going on. First, there is, of course, the uh, ongoing Inspector General's investigation uh, that's being conducted by the Independent uh, Office of Inspector General, uh, and our folks are, are uh, assisting them with their effort. Uh, and then second, as you alluded to, uh, the, now that the special counsel investigation is completed, uh, and having only recently returned to the department, the Attorney General is seeking to understand better the circumstances uh, at the department and the FBI relating to how this investigation uh, started. And we're working to help him uh, get that understanding. I think that's part of his job and, and part of mine. Uh, the Mueller report, as you indicated, has been uh, released. Uh, could you elaborate on it? And it did find that the Russians did interfere with the 2016 election. Could you please elaborate on the FBI's role in election security and actions taken by the Bureau during the 2016 election to mitigate foreign interference? Well, as to the uh, 2016 election, I think I'll, I'll let the uh, special counsel's report speak for itself. Uh, you know, it's 450 pages long, represents a lot of hard work by a large team of professionals over almost two years. But uh, one of the things that I set in motion almost immediately after starting in this role was to create a foreign influence task force, which is a measure not just of how seriously I take and we take uh, the foreign malign influence threat, but also I think a recognition of the need for better coordination this is a multidisciplinary problem requiring a multidisciplinary solution. So the Foreign Influence Task Force brings together our cyber resources, our counterintelligence resources, our criminal resources, and even our counterterrorism resources, because there's a little bit of a domestic terrorism wrinkle to some of this. Um, and it acts as sort of the hub with the spokes going out to our field offices and coordinating with Department of Homeland Security, uh, ODNI, NSA, uh, and in particular working much more closely with uh, state and local election officials and f along with Department of Homeland Security and the tech sector in Silicon Valley because on the foreign influence threat in particular, I think it's very important for Americans to understand that this is a threat uh, that is not just a government threat. We need to have the partnership with the social media companies in particular, and we've had really significant progress in that regard uh, going into the midterms, and there were a lot of successes in the 2018 midterms through that kind of team effort. Is the election interference broader than just, uh, when we talk about foreign interference in our elections, is it broader than just Russia? Well, there's different kinds of malign foreign influence. Certainly other countries, other adversaries are engaged in different kinds of malign foreign influence. The specific form of sowing divisiveness and discord through the bullhorn that social media provides, uh, you know, the trolls, uh, bots, et cetera, that was something that was really fairly unique to the Russians. But certainly we know that other countries have been eyeing those efforts uh, and entertaining whether or not to take a page out of that book. Director, when you appeared before this subcommittee uh, last year, I asked you about uh, issues related to the Nasser investigation, Dr. Nasser and the Olympics. Um, you indicated uh, an answer was difficult uh, to give because of an OIG investigation. Um, since the, that time, the FBI has conducted an internal investigation that led to that review by the Inspector General, and we await that conclusion. Uh, I guess at this point, unless you're willing to share more information than you were a year ago uh, in this regard, which I would welcome hearing from you, beyond that, I would ask you to assure me that the FBI will pro prioritize and take the OIG's results and recommendations seriously. Uh, 
Uh, well, certainly, Mr. Chairman, uh, you know, at first I should say that our heart breaks and aches for the victims of that particular matter. Uh, as you said, there's an inspector general, independent inspector general investigation going on into the handling of that matter. Uh, and I expect uh, to take very seriously the recommendations uh, that we get uh, out of the Office of Inspector General. But that's very much still an ongoing uh, review. Thank you, sir. Senator Shaheen. Uh, 